Good morning, everybody. How are you all doing today? Hello, Jim. I like that emote. <laughs> yeah, sorry, I am a, a little late today. Uh, I, I don't know what, yeah, yeah, I, I, I'm seeing that. It's a good pog. It's a great pog. <laughs> uh, oh, and hello, Gazbang. Yeah, so like I said, uh, sorry, I'm running a little behind today. I, uh, I, I don't know what I did, but I have done something to my, like, back slash hip area uh, oh, a couple days ago and I'm like really feeling it. I started really feeling it yesterday and now I'm like really feeling it this morning. I, I, I must have like, is that something getting old? <laughs> yeah, it might be just me getting old. Uh, although, I don't know. I'm just like, I'm still in my 20s and I'm like feeling it now. So I'm like, oh, I got to I got to be careful. Uh, I, I don't know what I did. I think I moved funny or was in a like a weird like angle for a while. And it like did something to my back and hips. So now it's like really hurting. And I think it's out of alignment. So it took me a little longer. Yeah, I know. Uh, I My desk converts into a standing desk. Uh so it's in standing desk right now. Uh, and I'm standing like on a, like a foam mat as well to try to help. Light stretches, some exercise. Yeah, I need to start doing that. So today I might, uh, I'm not entirely sure, depending on how the day goes and how I'm feeling, there is a chance I might end the stream earlier than I normally would if I'm not feeling it. But I still wanted to stream today because I really want to keep playing Advance Wars. Uh, so we'll, we'll see how I'm feeling uh, in, a, in a little bit. Yeah, I hope everyone else is doing well. Hope you're having a good, uh, a good Tuesday. Let's hop right in. This game has such good music. True to my word, I did not progress the game yesterday off stream. Uh, I did play, I did replay like one or two missions to try to get an S rank. Uh, and it's hard. Yeah, <laughs> it's got a ginger with a bazooka. I'm down. Yeah, she's cool. Yeah, I, it's kind of crazy, right? I mean, like, yesterday, uh, I was asking chat, and I was like, how old is this game? It, I was like, it can't be that old. And I think uh, he said... Uh, well, it might not have been he. Uh, they said... 2001 and I was like there's no way there's no way this game's 20 like two years old uh because it feels like I was like just playing it yesterday Resident Evil remake Metroid Prime remaster Battle Network Advance Wars dang 
You're right, though. That's... Yeah, 2000, 2001. I, actually, I know it came out in 2001, now that I think about it. Because it came out, like... Uh, what, like, the day before? Or, like, two days before, uh, you know, the, the big thing that happened in 2001 for the U.S.? I don't want to mention it because I don't know if like YouTube would like mess with my video for saying it. But I think everybody knows the bad thing that happened in like you know the end of 2001. Uh, it came out like the day or two before that. And then of course you know when this game, the reboot, got announced, you know the other aw uh, awful thing that happened globally happened like uh, it happened a couple days later, uh, also involving you know conflict and war. And I was like, this game has had a terrible time of it. Like, this game is extremely unlucky with release dates. But yeah, it is 22 years old, which blows my mind to think about. It's It has held up, though. Like, this, the gameplay feels fantastic. Like, it's still a super fun game. Also, uh... This is in no way a brag, but just something super cool that, like, made my day. My tweet yesterday morning about playing the game got liked by uh, WayForward's uh, director, and that, like, made my day yesterday. Like, I was still, like, on Cloud9 last night. That, like, the director, like, saw my tweet. I, I love this game. I, I played it so much as a kid, it's, like, not funny. <laughs> <laughs> Still coming back to me though, like how to like be good at it. Let's see. We're on mission nine. Push back Olaf's forces and secure twelve cities for Orange Star. I think this one's gonna have an alternate win condition. Uh, you know what? We'll play Max again. Hey! Mission nine: Blizzard Battle. I hope this isn't like a an endless blizzard. Sam from Crit Roll, from Crit I liked one of my tweets once, so I'm still writing that high. Yeah, it just made me feel really cool. Uh, the Battle Network remake is gas. Yeah, I I need to play it. Like, I wanted to, um, but I knew this was coming out. And I knew I was going to play this for sure. And I also know that like if I want to replay all of Battle Network, which I want to do, that's going to take me like, it's like a month of streaming. I figured that might be a, ga a game you might stream. Uh, you know, it's funny. I have realized, uh, slightly, I know this, I'm, I'm delaying getting into it, but I have realized that every game I have streamed so far, with the exception of like, and, and with the exception of Lunastis, uh, every game I've streamed so far, like to completion, I think has been an older game. Even if it's like a remake of an older game, I don't think I've played anything modern outside of Lunastis. Which is kind of crazy. I didn't like intend to be like kind of a like a retro game like streamer, but it's like kind of just happened because every game I want to play is like older. <laughs> or like every game I really love and wanted to get to first is older, so it's kind of funny. But yeah, like I love Mega Man Battle Network. It was like those games and then like Advance Wars. That I was I was just playing so much when I was younger. Andy, Max, can you both hear me? Mm -hmm. Loud and clear now. What's up? I've just learned that this is a vital deployment point for Olaf. If we can drive him away from the region, we can cut the strength of his forces dramatically. Sounds great. We can finally put an end to this conflict with Olaf. That's right. You just need to capture as many locations as possible, and quickly. Good luck. The first army to secure 12 cities will win this battle. Stay alert, and good luck. 
Okay, let's see what we've got here. Bases for deploying troops, check. We're good to go. Let's do this. Okay, wow. There was only one thing. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that. Uh, every game I've streamed has been roguelikes. You know what's funny? Uh, outside of stream, I, I haven't actually really played anything outside of stream for the most part. Uh, like recently. Uh, but the ga the big games I play a lot of are like roguelikes. I just have yet to find a place like on my like in schedule and timing to like sit down and play them. But like I love roguelikes. I think if I checked my Steam library, I probably have like 30 or 40 installed right now. Okay, so we just need to capture. Did it say cities specifically? Properties, okay, so bases count. Alto Land just got an update and it's fantastic. I still have not played that. I was. I was like kind of waiting for it to be like. I don't want to say done updating. Oh, I should have loaded in. No, no, this is fine. I was kind of waiting for it to like update. Because I had heard that it was really good, but like it needed. But that it like needed a little bit of. A little bit more time, like cooking to be like at its like max potential. So it's good to hear that it uh, the update's good. What should I be building? I think I should just save my money. properties are on my side of the fence. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And, ah, okay. So in order to win, we're going to have to cross the bridge. They added a bunch of new rooms and events, as well as a trinket system, like in Binding of Isaac. Oh, that's good. I really want to sit down and, like, play, like, I haven't played Binding for a while. I really want to sit down and, like, start that up on stream. Because, like, Binding of Isaac is, like, such a fun game. Post-game stuff, too, but I haven't done that yet. Oh, nice. You make a compelling argument. Let's get this thing out of the way. I want to build another tank. Capture the space, so that's good. Good start. I really want to build another big tank. Okay, that I should have retreated that tank. That was uh a poor decision on my part. I 
don't mind if it shoots at my APC, though. I'm actually going to kind of keep it parked here. Okay, one more turn and I can build a big tank. Let's, let's hope this pays off. Alright, what are you going to shoot with the artillery? The APC. Okay, that makes sense. You know what's funny? Uh, I should not have retreated that tank. I did not even think about the fact that this artillery could shoot at it. That was a bit of an oops on my part. Hmm. I don't even know if it's worth using my special. Get hurt. Max He doesn't capture this.
This unit is pretty much gone. Maybe we'll save up for an anti-air to help clear up his, uh, all these infantry he's building. I need another. The tank would be awesome. This tank's too beat up. It needs to and make it a little harder for it to catch me, hopefully. Although the recon's just gonna shoot. Probably not gonna work. I bet it's gonna be too smart for that. Looks like you're having some trouble. It's important to hold on to the properties on our side of the bridge. At the same time, if you don't capture any on properties, you can't win. Good luck. Oh, he hit. Did he hit twelve? I guess he must have hit twelve. I guess he, uh... What? He must have overpowered. Oh. He starts with six properties. To my three. I guess if he captured seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven... Yeah, the moment he captures, wow, that's kind of, that's kind of crazy. I wonder if this map is harder because I, I'm playing on the more advanced difficulty. Or maybe the AI is just better. 
But yeah, if he captures just one property over the bridge, he wins. Oh, I guess I do two. Okay. Three, six, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, so there's eleven properties on either side of the bridge. You just, if you capture all eleven plus one, you win. Hmm. I wonder what I should do. Maybe I should just go straight to, uh... Straight to doing that. I should also build some more in the future start. He also started out with 3,000 more than me. Maybe I just park the APC there to give myself a chance to start capturing over the bridge. Yeah, the, the call might be to be a, play a little more defensively here. I wonder if I can just... Alright, I have an idea. I don't know if it's a good one, but I'm gonna go for it. I wonder if I can just... Because of how narrow these, these crossings are... I wonder if I can just kind of gum up the bridges with... with cheap, like, infantry. So I, I am going to be able to do that. That that artillery piece, though, is going to be a huge problem in a couple seconds. Well, I have to clear these out. We'll see if this strategy holds. That APC is going to get blown up by that tank. Oh, I was not expecting him to... I was not expecting him to shoot at that. With that artillery. I didn't think he'd target my mechs. That's okay, though. I'm better off switching to the infantry. 
when it gets to the capture process. That unit's gonna just have to hunker down. We wait for the tank to show up. Yeah, and then we'll build... Should I build an APC? No, I'll wait. I'll wait for another tank. We'll see if this will work out. Oh, he's gonna use his power. Let the winds... Blizzard! I don't know if that mech unit on that city's gonna be able to hold out against the tank now. Oh, no. They're gonna start capturing it. I cannot lose that city. Hello, doggy. Oh my goodness, I cannot cross it. I can't cross any terrain. <laughs> One more turn and I can build a big thing. How are you doing? I'm currently having a bad time against Olaf in this mission. Oh, these units are crossing over. I am playing on the harder difficulty, and I'm starting to feel it. This bridge is pretty sufficiently gunked up. I'm good. I got caught up in talks with a coworker, which is why I'm a little late today. No problem at all. Uh, I was a little late too. I need to send more firepower up there. the other bridge. Well, 
that'll help clear out those enemies. That, that unit will heal. We'll do what we can to this. Yeah, I was mentioning earlier that I my back and hip are, like, hurting. So I, I'm running late today, and I... There's a there's a good chance I will end stream early if it gets uh, to the point where I need to go rest. Oh, hello, Grit! Welcome. I know, I need to soon. Well, not like... Like, terribly soon. You know what? We're gonna take out the infantry. Those are the things that are gonna win in the game. I'm not careful. Can move the infantry. Ritz says, rest, I've been lurking. Oh, I see. Yeah, I know I need... I, I'm going to rest. Like, if, if it starts to... If my back or hip starts to hurt too much, I will... I will definitely... Uh, I will definitely rest. Time to see if my strategy can work. If I capture this property, I will win. Okay, he's gonna use his power. That is not... It's not the best. The fury. Blizzard. I just need the infantry that's capturing that city up there to survive. Oh, that infantry is about to flip though. Oh. He's, he's not going to make it. I need to completely repel them off of his zone.
This AA unit is actually in the way. Okay, this is gonna kind of slow me down, but I'm gonna I'm gonna try this. just in the way. Wow, it wasn't enough. Alright. Actually, you need to build another infantry. His power is over, which is good. Hopefully that tank retreats. Hundred percent damage. Okay, perfect. The battle to hold these bridges has been, like, absolutely brutal. Okay, as long as my infantry survives, which I think it will, I will win right here. All my other units need to do is stall. You know what? I would like to try to get a better score before I win. Roll tank. So let's take out what what I can of these units before I capture and win. I would love a tactics-style game where once you engage the combat on the board, you can take control of the troops and fight as them. Oh, that would be kind of cool. Is that... Is there not a game like that already? Is that a... Is that... Is this Valkyrie? Are you, not like Valkyrie Chronicle style, right? Trials of Cold Steel. That name sounds really familiar.
I think it might be along the lines of what you're looking into. Yeah, take a look at those. Maybe those are what you're thinking. Okay, time to wrap it up. We're gonna win. Not again. You will not be pleased with me if this losing streak continues. Grit, Grit where are you? Uh-huh. Yep. Get out there and stop that cursed Orange Star Army. Uh... Easier said than done, boss. You didn't leave me anything to work with. Uh... Don't get saucy. Just rally the troops and do something. I must go and pay him my respects. I'll return later. Do not fail me, Grit. But well, who is he talking about? Well, ain't that a sight. Olaf just tucked his tail between his legs and ran away. Where does that leave me? <laughs> Guess I'll mosey on down and clean up his mess. Got him. Mm, an A rank. We'll take it. Let's see. Definitely closer. So still not exactly what you're looking for, but but closer. No sign of Olaf. It looks like we'll be facing off against Grit. Next. Grit. Is he the guy who keeps calling me Junior? Do you know him or something? Yeah, you could say that. Grit, Nell, and I used to be friends. He was always a tough one to figure out. But this Blue Moon stuff. Uh. Oh right, I forgot that Nell said they used to be friends. Why is he working for Blue Moon? Uh. That's something I'd like to ask him myself. And that's why I should take the lead this time, Andy. Let me handle Grit. Valkyrie Chronicles is even closer. Uh, I've played a little bit of Valkyrie Chronicles. Um, I've played a little bit of the first one, and I've heard that the fourth one uh, is, like, even better. Uh, and as far as I know, uh, I don't think that they are... Or whatever one is the most recent one. Maybe it's not the fourth one. But I, I think I've heard that they're not... I've heard that they're kind of like Final Fantasy games. Uh, in that, like, you don't have to play the previous ones. They're, like, separate, contained, like, units. Also, did you know that Max Force is voiced by Igor? Yeah, yeah, I, I can't unhear it, actually. <laughs> uh, and uh, Eagle is voiced by ProZD, uh, Sung Won Cho. And, uh, or song one, I don't remember how, to, uh, there's a couple, and Christina V is now. There's, like, some really recognizable names, uh, like, voicing in this. I haven't heard anyone else yet, though. Uh, whoever's voicing Olaf sounds super familiar to me. Like, I've heard his voice before. I just can't quite place it. That's the only one I haven't figured out yet. And I, can't, I haven't heard enough of Grit's voice to know if he sounds familiar. Uh, but yeah, I've heard uh, I've heard that the newest Valkyrie Chronicles is like really good. You should uh, you should take a look at whatever that one is if you didn't. But I think it's the fourth one. Okay, briefing. Old friends clash on the battlefield, and old wounds are revealed. Mission 10 History Lesson. Reefs over here, woods over there, hiding places everywhere. Man, this place was made for Grit in his indirect combat duties. Grit already surprised my transport copter with a cruiser, and I know he's got some subs too. I need to figure out my play. I have a cruiser too, but... Do you need me to explain? 
What's wrong, Max? Do you need me to explain how cruisers work? Sure, why not? Cruisers engage enemy units directly and can attack either air units or submarines. They're strongest against subs. Select this cruiser and I'll show you what they're capable of. Here's an extra tip. If you're on a reef, enemies won't be able to see through fog of war unless they're adjacent. Move here and attack. See that? Cruisers are super effective against subs. Don't forget they can also attack air units. Speaking of... Your transport copter has seen better days. If you leave it here, it'll be destroyed immediately. Select that unit and I'll show you a trick. At first glance, it looks like it can fly... It can't fly anywhere safe, right? But there is a way to save it. You can move it onto the cruiser and load it. Give it a try. That's right, you can load up to two copters onto a cruiser, and they'll be completely safe, as long as the cruiser itself isn't destroyed. Remember that by loading units, you also resupply those units with fuel and ammunition. Huh. Boy, this battlefield was tailor-made for Grit and his indirect combat units. I wish we could just rush in and get to stomping. But I know that's not the smart play. We need to use the terrain and creep up on him. That's the only way, way we'll be victorious here. Oh no, I have to think. I don't want that. We don't have any bases, which is okay. Because neither does he. Hmm. What is the smart play here? He has an artillery unit, which I don't want to deal with. So we should go deal with that. My medium tank should be able to handle it. Yeah, between the battleship and a medium tank, we should be okay. We could load up on the lander. Oh, just kidding. He's got a couple units up there. to... You know what? Is he, since he can't make units, there really is no rush. We'll just take it safe and slow. Eh. Well, here we go again. Here we are again. Frankly, this whole situation don't sit well with me, but I guess I gotta stop fooling around and ref our team. Figure the best way to stop these boys in their tracks is to take out their landers first. Yeah, that'll keep them from shuffling those ground troops around. I can I best get started. already has his power. Okay.
Okay, let's take care of this thing. This is really risky, moving out of the reef. I might regret doing that. Here comes his power. He didn't use it. That's interesting. Why did he not use his power? I forgot about how Fog of War worked for a second. Okay. Don't get me all riled up. Snipe attack. I wonder if anything's within range of it. The answer was yes. There is an artillery in those woods. Very, very obviously. Hmm. You know what? I, honestly, I don't know if it's worth using my power, though. Oh, whoa, it's a battle. So this island over here should be entirely safe now, once I take out that. Means it's about time for those landers to start going to work. Ah, he has a battleship. Enjoy your lurk. Oh. 
to this tank, which I completely forgot was there. I don't know if there's anything in this woods here. Hmm. Based on the camera movement, I think there's stuff in the lower right. I think that's pretty safe to assume. There's nothing in there, at least. Take care of that. This sub is going to sink on the next turn. And I can't stop that. Oh, that thing's a gun. I can hear him moving units around in there. Buy sub. Oh. Oh, they used to just blow up. Now they actually sink. That's fine. Hmm. How do we want to do this? I want another unit in. You up. You need to heal. There's a tank in here. No. We'll just go up there.
Okay, that thing got shot by artillery. I'm wondering where that was. This song reminds me of something. Just not sure. Hmm, I wonder what it is. When I when I hear it, I, I just am like, oh, that's that's Max's theme. But I would not be surprised if it's like reminiscent of something else. Okay, we're gonna actually park the landers right there on purpose. Okay, next turn we're gonna we're gonna storm the beach. Alright, here we go. And then I'll use my power next turn, too. No, oh, I don't really need to. You know what? We should be smart, though. We'll move slowly. He's going back to pick up the tank. Actually, just open fire from here. That's just going to wait for the lander. You can't hide. Okay, he's going to use his power. Snipe attack. Best case scenario, I'm going to get hit by like a single artillery right here, right? Okay, yep, I thought so. Roll tanks roll. Did I Max Force? Did I just lose connection? That's weird. My stream elements just says I'm now live and streaming. Did... Did I just lose connection somehow? Did something just happen with my, uh, with my stream? I know you're in there. Yep.
I didn't see anything weird happen. Okay, that's good. I don't know what happened. My uh, OBS, like, was flashing and saying it was, like, having trouble with connection and attempting to reconnect. And then my, like, uh, all of my different counts and my, like, time I've been live and everything just, like, went, like, all kinds of, like, wacky. Okay, Grit, now you're gonna answer some questions. Why in blazes did you switch over to Blue Moon? Grit. Oh, hello, VHS! How are you doing? Thank you for the pats. Grit? Nell, what are you doing here? Uh... Hey there, Nell. It's been a long time. Max, would you please, would you please leave us alone for a minute? Did we, like, actually corner him? Like... Like, in a building? Ran into a... Oh, no. A 7 ad break. I, uh, sure. Huh. Oh, no, it's playing this song. This song is sad. You look well, all things considered. I worry about you. No problem. Yeah, I'm doing all right. How about you? You and Max getting along? Uh... Oh, no. So that's the reason you left Orange Star. You sensed Max's feelings, and because he's your friend, do you? Whoa there, hold on now. Let me set you straight. I did what I did, because that's who I am, darling. I go where I want to go and stay where I want to stay. That's it. Oh, I... See you around, Nell. You take care. Aw. Goodbye, Gert. Aw, no. Made her cry. Okay, that was kind of cute. That was kind of a cute, but then at the same time, he, like, defected to another army? Like, like he, he like defected from his country and army and like is now Welcome. helping an enemy country. Oh hey, we can finally buy a new, a new CO. Howdy, I've got here a ticket to enlist the sharpshoot and grit for play outside of campaign mode. Just come on down to Hachi shop and you're ready to do business. Oh, hey, it's Sammy. Whoa. Who are you? My name's Sammy. I'm the Special Forces Commander. Better late than never, right? I meant to join you earlier, but my previous mission ran longer than expected. Better late than never, right? I'm an infantry and mech unit specialist. My units can seize and secure new bases faster than any other CO on the planet. My APC units are top of the line too. Okay. 
My troops and I are ready for action. Wow, I'm looking forward to working with you, Sammy. Right back at you. Now let's get to it. I've got some fresh intel that should help us get it. Should help give us an edge in the next skirmish. According to this, Olaf's forces are advancing towards Gold Comet. Let's go get them. Wait a minute. Who's that up ahead? Uh, let's go see how much it is to buy grit. Oh, I guess it's going to be against Eagle. <laughs> they just... That's kind of funny. Alright, how much are CEOs? Hey, listen. Even if you buy every last item I've got, come back again later. I'm always getting fresh stock, so keep your eyes peeled for exciting new merchandise. Anywho, go ahead and take a peek at what I've got in today. Okay, so they're 900 a pop. Are you looking to buy Grit? Alright, Grit is mine. I have now purchased one Grit. Grit enlisted. Okay. Looks like you've enlisted your first CO. When you purchase a CO's ticket from Hachi Shop, you'll be able to use that CO outside of campaign mode. Here, this is for you. I'll be able to upgrade that metal again for you when you've bought all sorts of different things. Happy spending. Alright, cool. Anyways, back to the campaign. Mission 11, Sammy's debut. The eagle has landed. Time to clip his wings. Interesting that I could just like choose somebody who's not her. But it's called her intro. Well, obviously I'm gonna Try pick to keep her. Up. You know, I just realized, you could probably 3D print the units from this game. Like, their little uh, models on the map. Hmm, I think I've seen those guys before. Those look like Green Earth troops. I've heard rumors they have an independent battalion around here. They're supposed to be really tough, especially their air units. I know. I'd never seen that kind of airplane before. Do you need a debriefing on our new year our new air units? Yeah, sure, why not? Yeah. It's taken longer than expected, but I was finally able to secure us a fighter jet and a bomber for our forces. And I and just in time it seems. Fighter jets have a huge movement range and can fire on any flying unit they are adjacent to. Unfortunately, they're completely useless against ground units. Let me show you just how effective they are. Select this fighter jet. Do you see how far they can move? Since we don't know exactly what's out there, let's take out this battlecopter to start. It's no wonder they say fighter jets rule the skies. Just make sure to keep your air units out of enemy range, or they will be destroyed. Select this unit, please. Now let's take a look at bombers. Select this unit, please. Bombers can attack only adjacent ground and naval units. However, they deal massive damage, and most units aren't even able to strike them back. Let's take out this enemy missile unit before it can attack our air unit.
this looks pretty advanced. Oh my goodness. <laughs> nice shot. Hello, Hawk. How are you doing? Nice shot. Bombers are really strong, so make sure you keep an eye out for them. And watch out for enemy fighter jets as well. With air units, you also need to keep an eye on how much fuel they have remaining. Copters use two fuel per day. But fighter jets and bombers use a whopping five per day. If they run out, they'll crash. And those units will be lost. Remember that air units ignore terrain movement penalties, but they also don't get any terrain bonuses, so there's a trade-off. Huh. That's a special forces commander for you, always up on the latest intel. Hey wait, did you say that you've seen them before, Andy? Oh, good to hear that you are doing good. I'm doing good too, except for my, like, back and hip are hurting. Yeah, their commander seemed really mad at me. And you survived? Not bad, Andy. Nice work, kid. <laughs> All right, let's roll. Hmm. I should have loaded that in the top right one. That would have been pretty smart of me. Especially because her mechs are, like, really good. You know what? We'll just do this. Uh, what I'm doing is... Oh, I forgot about the APC. I could have used that. That's okay. What I'm doing is arguably kind of risky. No, we'll just move it up. But I kind of just want to see what's out here. Orange Star Army. Those are Andy's troops. I won't be beaten again. I won't be beaten again by Andy and his ilk. This time I shall crush them with one decisive blow. I just heard a quite a few air units moving. He has quite a few units over there. I 
if I can get one of her units, one of these over, over onto them, that would be incredible. Like onto their capital. Don't know if that's going to be doable though. Oh, it's going to be a lot harder now. As he's going to go again. When it comes to fighting Orange Star, I'll pull no punches. Oh boy, here we go. Lightning Drive! Oh boy. my power do exactly? Plus one to movement range, plus 35 to firepower, and 15 to defense. I would be amazed if what I'm doing works. have got to go. Get rid of her, her get rid of his fighter jets. Most of his units can't see us. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna use the power now. So we can give her units. Here I come! We're gonna give my infantry and mechs a huge power and defense boost. Should be 15, yeah. Okay. These aren't all of his units, are they? That would be crazy if I won right here. Nope. Gonna win next turn for sure, though. Unless he can take out my mech. How irritating. Show them no mercy.
All right, I am definitely going to win. You know what? I want to see what's over here. But why don't we just fly around? There's a tank. is over here. He had another bomber. Oh, it doesn't matter. Commander! Commander Eagle, I do believe we have been defeated, sir. Impossible. I, Eagle, lost again? It happens to the best of us. And who might you be? My loss is none of your concern. The name's Sammy. I'm an Orange Star CO. The indignity of it, losing yet again to such an inexperienced lot. Excuse me, you're just careless. That's why you keep losing. We're a capable group of COs here. Maybe you should head back to basic training and pick up a few new strategies. Your old ones don't seem to be working out so well. I beg your pardon, Orange Star CO. Sammy, was it? Uh... Yes? I would like to apologize for my behavior. It was inappropriate. Uh... Oh. Well, okay. I vow by my lucky goggles that the next time we meet, I will do better, and I will treat my opponents with the respect they deserve. For now, I take my leave. Farewell. Really? Wait a minute. No one said you could leave, I... Huh? And he's gone. At least he seems like a halfway decent guy, after all. Now it's on to Gold Comet. Wait, now aren't we the ones invading? Yeah, that, that was definitely an S rank. Speed and power, yeah, 100%. Hey there! Look who's here! Oh weird, my, uh, my stream elements thing is going crazy again, telling me I'm offline and online. Look to the horizon. Like a plague, here comes the Orange Star Army. Not content with their own lands, they've come to steal mine. Never, I say, never! Conbei's elite forces shall drive them back! Why are we in- I, I am a little confused. We repelled them out of Orange Star. This made sense. We went through Blue Moon. I guess that makes sense. Some of this territory was apparently Orange Stars to begin with. We now have crossed this, like, channel, and now we're entering Gold Comet territory? These people aren't even involved. Why are we, like, attacking them? Give me one second. Did it specifically just say Andy? Oh no. When Orange Star crosses paths. Okay, I'm trying to remember how Conbabe works. It's been a while. I think all of his units cost more, but they're just better. Like, he just has better units, in exchange for them being more expensive. I think. Hmm.
Who would be the best to pick into him? It would be nice if I could look at the map. Was that an option? No. If I knew what I was dealing with, then it would be easier. You know what? Let me go back real quick. I'm curious. Okay, you do get to pick who you bring in every time. I wanted to make sure I wasn't somehow getting locked in. Oh, I can see that there are no bases. There's no bases, airports, or uh, whatever they call the uh, the equivalent for the ports. I'm gonna pick Sammy and see if I can go for another capture victory. Might not be the right map for it. We'll need to see what we're dealing with. That might be... This might have been a bad choice. Uh-oh. Oh, here we go. Uh-oh. I was just planning on passing through Gold Comet. The Kambi's elite forces spotted us before we even reached the border. This is bad. Uh. Kambi's elite forces? Yep. According to our intel, they're the best trained troops in the region. The high equipment cost and salaries per soldier must make them awfully hard to maintain. Oh. The best trained, huh? Why do you keep all the fun battles for yourself, Sammy? Let's move on out. I don't anticipate much fun in this exercise, Andy. Okay, no sense in wasting any more time here. Let's move on out. Hmm. Getting onto his HQ is going to be pretty rough. This probably would have been a better... Uh, would have been a better max mission. Shoot. Well, let's see what we can do with what we've got. Sammy's voice actor is also good. I agree. I don't know who it is, though. This does not make us look any better, by the way. We are... We're like the aggressors here. Like, I don't know, I'm just saying, maybe... Maybe we're kind of being the bad guys by, like, <laughs> opening fire? dialogue from Gambe either. We're just getting right to it. I definitely should have picked Max. But you know what? We're gonna... We're just gonna keep going with what we got. I have her power, but her units are... I'm not going to be able to do anything. I'll have to wait.
I, th I think I'm not gonna win this one. I'm not using terrain properly. I could get this APC closer to the river. He's gonna use his power. The forces of Gold Comet will show you the true meaning of strength. Morale boost. Oh, the damage is. He's about to do so much damage. Oh my gosh, that's not good. That APC was like my one chance. Beatable Sammy. We're kind of we're kind of looking real beatable right now. We're looking mighty beatable. Ten damage. Fifteen damage. Cool. We have like no shot here. percent Maybe maybe this is all for the best though. I was thinking today I might only do a half stream. And we're about at the halfway point ish. I mean, I know we started a teeny bit late, but. Just so I can rest a little bit, I might stop after this one. I'm starting to feel it in my back. I also need to think about how on earth I'm going to get through this mission. I'm probably going to need to hold up and let him come to me. That's the call. Even without his power, they still do so much damage. You know, it's kind of funny, but with, like, with Kanbei, 
the balancing point for him is that all of his units cost more to produce. But in a map like this, where all the units are like pre-deployed and you don't have to spend money, he just has like a, like a pure advantage. I'm about to be completely wiped out. Yep. All we can do is wait it out. Kombi's a really hard opponent. There we go, we have lost. Well, let's see what the advice is from now. That was a good effort, but you'll have to take damage in order to take out the indirect combat units. Afterwards, just stay within the mountains and protect your position. Good luck. The enemy will keep coming at you, but you just have to hold on. Don't give up. Believe in your strategy. Okay. So the strategy is what I thought it was. Which is, uh, hold up in the mountains and let him, uh, come to me in, in the higher, like, the better terrain. That makes some sense. Well, unfortunately, like I, I mentioned a couple times, uh, I am dealing with, like, a back injury. Not, like, a severe one or I am dealing with some back pain, so I think I should rest, but like I said, I'm feeling it. I'm not like in extreme pain, but I feel like it would be a good place to stop uh, right around here. That way I don't overdo it and make it into a, you know, make it into a problem. So I think that is what we are going to do. Uh, yeah. I think that that's the smart play here. Uh, I feel a little weird doing a short stream uh, like this. As this is uh, not something I normally do. But it's for my health, so I kind of got it. Uh, thank you, though, to everybody uh, who came out today. Uh, I really appreciate it. Sorry I was not able to stream uh, longer than normal, but I need to go rest my back and take some painkillers, maybe ice it or something. I'm going to head out, and I hope you all have a great rest of your day. Oh, thank you, Hawk. You have an, you all have a great rest of your day, and I will let you know on Twitter how I'm feeling later. Uh, maybe in the morning, uh, and I'll let you all know if I'm going to need like a like to just take the day off tomorrow or not. Uh, I already know I'm going to be taking Thursday Friday off because I have something important. IRL stuff to do. Uh, so we'll see if I stream tomorrow or if it's just a short week. Uh, but yeah, you all have a great rest of your day and I'll see you later. See ya.